Hi there, this is your friend Brendra Diyar. The basic purpose of our life is to be successful, to be cheerful, and to always strive to seek to find the true path of prosperity, wisdom, enlightenment, and there is real tranquility and serenity in our life. The journey of life can be only very pleasant once we are guided by the noble path what all the great sages, saints, the prophets and the saviour of this earth narrated from time to time. But the time for us is to meditate over it, contemplate over it and made it so much impressioned upon us that we can really practice in our life every moment. And once we have attained that state of mind known as, known as enlightenment, we can really become a holy man. And once we are a holy man, we shall be free from all the negative state of mind that is the sinful acts of negative thoughts, actions and deeds which is the root cause of suffering, sorrows, grief and all the miseries for the mankind. So let's try to see the attributes, the characteristics of a holy man and we should strive to inculcate such great qualities so that we can really live a very happy and peaceful life full of all this heavenly blessedness and calmness and peaceful and serene life. The holy man is he who is free from passion and all impure thoughts and to whom goodness and purity have become as natural as a scent and color are to the flower. The holy man is divinely wise. He alone knows truth in its fullest and has entered into the abiding rest and peace. For the holy man, evil has ceased. It has disappeared in the universal light of the all good. Holiness is the badge of wisdom. In Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna told to the warrior prince Arjuna, the real characteristics of holiness. And let's try to understand it. What was that? Holiness is humbleness, truthfulness, and harmlessness, patience and honor, reverence for the wise, purity, constancy, control of self, contempt of sense delights, self-sacrifice, perception of the certitude of ill in birth, death, age, disease, suffering and sin. And if a tranquil heart in fortune's good and fortune's evil endeavors resolute to reach perception of the utmost and grace to understand what gain it were so to attain this is true wisdom brings beloved friends we practice very sincerely and very seriously, we can really attain that state of mind. It needs a lot of reverence and, and interest in becoming a wise man, an enlightened man, and live a really life full of happiness, peace, tranquility, and all great of greatness of success, happiness, peace, and joy. So to attain all these, this is true wisdom prince. And what is otherwise is ignorance. 
whosoever fights ceaselessly against his own selfishness and strive to supplant it will all embracing love become a holy man whether he lives in a cottage or in the midst of riches and influence or whether he preaches or remain obscure let's think about all these characteristics and attributes and with lot of meditation dwelling upon such great characteristics it can become an integral part of our life we will become holy men i wish you all the great success thank you very much